sick and tired of hearing things from uptight, short-sighted, narrow-minded hypocrites. All I want is the truth. Just give me some truth. I've had enough of reading. Hey, everybody. This is Del Bigtree from The High Wire. Well, you may have heard that YouTube has just deplatformed the high wire. So after a great run of three years on YouTube, where we have had amazing success uh, and won several awards and been granted a lot of approval from YouTube without a single strike to our name or an explanation of why it's happened, we've been unceremoniously removed. But I want to say that I actually think that this is a moment for celebration. Because as most of you know, especially if you've ever played sports, how do you know when you're winning? When the other team has no choice but to start cheating. And that's what's happening in the United States of America and social media as we know. There is a great purge that began last Thursday. Tomorrow on the high wire, I'm going to discuss how we saw it coming, what we knew was happening, and why it's happening. What you should know right now is that we are winning. We are closing in on the finish line of one of the most outrageous experiences in human history. But the old guard, the medical establishment, and those politicians that are taking money from pharma are making their last-ditch, pathetic effort to maintain control. They have to have that control because now if they lose, they will be accused of crimes against humanity. So this is to be expected, but let it be known and let you, I want you to know for sure that we are now more confident than we've ever been. We are excited to continue telling the truth, and even though they threatened us, we will never stop bringing the truth. I'm a CBS reporter that started a show on YouTube. I have won Emmy Awards as a medical producer. If it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. But we will never go away. We will never give up. So whatever platform you're used to watching us on, whether that platform goes up tomorrow or it's taken down, I want you to know we will always be able to be found at thehighwire.com. So why don't we have a party tomorrow? Why don't we celebrate what's going on? We've obviously put them in such a desperate position that they are outing themselves to the world. Their dark grip on humanity is falling apart. And now they're showing the world how desperate they will be. Come over to the block party on the high wire tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Thehighwire.com. We're going to have our elves up all night working with some new technologies to make sure that we are there for you. This is all put together by the Informed Consent Action Network. You are a part of that action network. We must recognize how close we are now to winning. But no, it's going to take more effort on all of our parts. We're coming together. We're staying strong. This is The High Wire, and I'll see you tomorrow at thehighwire.com. I've had enough of reading things by neurotics. I got a big head of politicians. All I want is the truth. Just give me some It began in healthy-looking pigs, months, perhaps years ago. A new coronavirus. Some governments have taken control of national access to the internet. Others are censoring websites and social media content. Twitter and Facebook are reporting they've identified and deleted a disturbing number of accounts dedicated to spreading disinformation about the outbreak. If the solution means controlling and reducing access to information, I think it's the right choice. A couple of strategies that are available to us, one of which is the flood strategy. There's one of which is the flood strategy. Today, I'm announcing a new United Nations communications response initiative to flood the internet with facts and science while countering the growing scourge of misinformation. The second of which is relying and informing and equipping trusted uh, sources of information with the facts so they can then pass that on. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation spends tens of millions of dollars per year on media partnerships, sponsoring coverage of its program areas across the board. Gates funds The Guardian's global development website. Gates funds NPR's global health coverage. Gates funds the Our World in Data website that is tracking the latest statistics and research on the coronavirus pandemic. Gates funds BBC coverage of global health and development issues, 
both through its BBC Media Action Organization and the BBC itself. Gates funds world health coverage on ABC News. But we also need to actually think about a technological answer to this. So there is work that's being done to actually create algorithms to sift through information on these kind of social media platforms. Um, and I know that uh, the Gates Foundation and others are funding organisations to work on things like this. So there is work that's being done to actually create algorithms to sift through information on these kind of social media platforms. Um, and I know that uh, the Gates Foundation and others are funding organisations to work on things like this. Wild conspiracy theories are infecting the internet. Social media companies must do more to root out hate and harmful assertions about COVID-19.